Okay. Let's continue our adventure to the volcano. Uh, it's been a while. I don't know if I'm if, if I will be using a house or not at the end of this tri trip. Oh well. Let's just do it anyway. So something that's changed in the championship edition is that you can't get to the ice cave by canoe anymore. I had too many people going there anyway. <laughs> Uh, which I also did the first time I played Final Fantasy negative one. So it's not that odd. And uh, even though you can get far with persistence, it's just out of balance. And if you do make it, you get some items that are too good. So uh, now you need the airship to get to the ice cave to make things clear. We finished this part. The rogue now has a sword that does massive damage against giant like enemies, like ogres. So, as you can see, the rogue one shot that one. No problem. Ooh, we are getting hit hard. I want to put the sage at the back. Oof. Oh, that's full life and then go. So the uh, the first party member, the top one, gets fifty percent of all the attacks. So four and eight. Uh, as you can see, I changed this room a little bit, so there are more pathways not walking on lava. Ooh, this is quite a challenge. I'm running away. The uh, second party member gets 25% of all the shots taken. And the last, the last two, so number three and four, they both get 12 and a half or one and eight chance of being hit. So um, it doesn't really matter if you put somebody at Slot three or four. What the heck? Did you see that? Woo! Well, the giants they hit hard, but they hit three. They hit the same person three times in a row. That can happen. Do I have the life spell? Yeah, I do. Do I have enough healing to continue? <laughs> Maybe not. I want to try to get to the teleporter, which is on the next floor. Oof. Should I be fighting all these enemies? Should at least be casting more spells. Oof. Oh, this run is not going well at all. And I don't have the warp spell to get out. Okay, we'll use the cures. And two. Now, I was aware there was a spike in difficulty going into the volcano. So, uh, if you can run away, we should. <laughs> That's why I changed the lava. But yeah, the enemies also hit hard. Okay, since we're low on resources, um, 
I'm going to uh, go into the rooms that have treasure that I pass, but I won't be going all the way to the left. There's a fight with a dragon and two adds. Uh, by adds, it means additional mobs. Oh, let's just run away. These uh, fellows can hurt a lot. And I won't be going to the upright either. Oh, silver armor. That's good. Yeah, the enemy rogues have fairly high ambush rate. Oof. Let's confuse them. Uh, I've done the hacking in so much that the shield spell now does less uh, of an armor buff. It's still, it's still worth casting, I think. Okay, well. These fellows are fairly strong, and a bolt too won't be enough to kill them. But let's try that enemy while I'm here. Hmm. And now I've lost track of who I've done damage. Oh, it doesn't matter that much. This should be a lot of money, by the way. There we go. 4,000 gold. That was worth it. So this room is a teleporter. Um, and this chest has a dragon. Ah, let's do it. I don't have any haste. I do have temper. Shield is tempting. Oh, I have a shell. Let me do that. Because I'm, I'll be first fighting the uh, the fire elemental. And the dragon is very likely. Yeah, there we go. There's Inferno. So that helped out. Why didn't I cast the spell with this guy? Now is the time to cast Ice 3. Oh, can't use that. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. Oh, we can run away. Well, uh, I will be using that house anyway, so comment. Oh, house does cost me a thousand gold. Um, should I go back to town? I have 17 cures. I have leveled up. Do I have any new spells to get? Ice 3. Okay. Well, the next trip, either way, will be... Um, I have to go back to town anyway, because I'll need another house. Um, yeah, I know what I'll do. Let me heal up as much as I can with the spells I have. This is enough, actually. I'll use the house. We'll go back into the volcano. We will then get all the treasure. Get out again. Go back to town. Get all kinds of spells, but then we should level up. It should have leveled up again. Maybe not get spells, uh, but I'll need a house anyway. Maybe we'll get a house in one of the treasure chests. So, geez, get out of here. Could have confused them, charmed them, but... Still safe, I think. So, uh, yeah, if we get a house, we won't have to go back to town. 
Oh, it's these guys again. I should reduce their numbers. Because you don't encounter this battle. Uh, anywhere else. Yeah, because they, they almost always get to jump on you. And this place is hard enough. Okay, we'll just whittle them down one by one. Well, it's just taking our time. <laughs> uh, let's do this for now. How about we discuss another class? Let's see if they're too powerful or not. Um, the next one in order when you set up the game is the, the Viking. And I think he's top tier. Now, the tiers in this game are very close. I don't think any of the classes are terribly stronger than any others. Oh, I should have walked over lava first. Oh. And, uh, but the Viking has something unique, which is very important. Namely, hitting hard. And there are a lot of ways to uh, abuse that in this game. Namely with the haste and the temper spell. But also, I don't know if it's abuse, but merely the fact that a Viking hardly costs any magic, uh, any any uh, money. So you have money to spend on magic if you're in your party. And that, that makes a difference. I find uh, parties with a Viking just to be highly successful. Because I know I'll be able to hurt the bosses. Uh, I know the trash mobs. Uh, most trash mob groups have a, a bigger threat. And having a Viking around makes those bigger threats easier to kill. That helps. And he has a lot of hit points, not that many, not much more than anybody else, but, uh, well, that does help, actually. He, uh, he doesn't, the Viking doesn't die that much. Now, on the other hand, I am aware of him having only scale armor, so I usually put him in the third slot, sometimes the second. So, yeah, he's not going to take that much of a beating. Okay. On to the chests. We haven't been there. And the Viking is hard to replace. The Monk can also do a lot of damage. The problem with the Monk, though, is that uh, he usually ends up buffing himself, which costs another turn. Now, if you, if you have a Monk and a Viking, well, then the Monk uh, buffs the Viking. So that's a good combination. Usually if I have a Monk in my party, oh, I forgot, um, I'm not going to have that many other casters for offensive buffs. So, uh, uh, it's the same. <laughs> okay, yeah, the left chest is not that interesting. It's all about the top right. Let me... Uh, Throw around some cures, because I don't want the dragon to take too much damage. Okay. We have two ads. Okay, let's buff up first. Take that one out first. 